The Murder Sheet, a podcast investigating the unsolved murders of Abby Williams and Libby German, provided us a copy of this search warrant, and it reveals new facts about the crime scene where the girls' bodies were found out back on Ron Logan's Carroll County property on February 14, 2017. This is the gate they left down. Two days after the bodies were discovered, Ron Logan showed us around his property that backs up to Deer Creek and sits at the bottom of the gorge where the Monon High Bridge towers up above, where Libby German and Abby Williams met the man who took their lives. Okay, there's the crime scene down there. See how the ground's much more matted down right in here? I think you're right there. The search warrant from March 17, 2017, recently made public reveals. Libby German shot 43 seconds of video on her cell phone of this man following them on the bridge at approximately 2.13 p.m. on February 13th. And at noon the next day, the girls' bodies were found on Logan's property. There was quite a loss of blood, and the investigators think the killer may have gotten some of that blood on him. An item of clothing was missing from one of the girls, and quote, it also appeared the girls' bodies were moved and staged, leading investigators to theorize that the killer took a souvenir from the crime scene and maybe took pictures. It looked to investigators like the girls died without putting up a fight. Unknown fibers and hairs were collected from the scene. The search warrant authorized investigators to seize any guns or knives Logan had in his house, take a sample of his blood or bodily fluids, and his cell phone. This is my backyard. My backyard just happens to be bigger than most people. How many people have a murder committed at their home in their backyard? The FBI agent who requested this search warrant wrote, quote, I believe there is probable cause to believe that Ronald Logan has committed the crime of murder. The document shows Logan created a false alibi for the time the murders were committed, but he was never charged in the case. Logan was sentenced to four years in prison for violating probation in a drunk driving case, and that may be why he lied to investigators. We don't know if the search warrant turned up any evidence specifically related to the Delphi case. Logan died in January. In the newsroom, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News. Russ, thank you. And since that day in 2017, investigators have followed many leads, including a fake social media account the girls had contact with. You can read more about that timeline on fox59.com right now. Police are still looking for information to find the person responsible for Abby and Libby's death. Here's that tip line again, 765-822-3535. You can find that and the email tip line at fox59.com.